Hey everybody. So sorry that my video is done in the dark. It's, it took just a little bit of time. It wasn't too bad or too long. Today we are doing the review for, as you see, the Master Canopy to be the master of your life. Uh, I have to say so far, I'm not, okay, I'm not ever on a canopy, but I have um, had friends that's had some and I've helped them with theirs and uh, it wasn't as bad as uh, when I helped them with theirs because maybe theirs was not as good as this one, but this one is really good. Uh, it's really nice. It's got so far very sturdy, uh, very sturdy. It's very durable. The roof is thicker than the sides, which I like. The the um, material is made thicker. So I'm going to show you guys now that I've got it fully set up. Um, I did try to do the video for the install, but it took a long time on the video. So yeah, I couldn't do that one. So, But uh, hopefully you'll get to see this here and it'll help you out. Um, so let's do it. So this is the one of the side walls and it comes with all this, the side walls and everything. Besides, it doesn't come with these stakes here. The orange stake that I have down there on the ground, as you can see, it does not come with those. You can buy those at Walmart. Uh, you screw them like into the ground. Uh, this, they're not really hard. They're really nice. Um, so I would suggest you get some of those to, to do the supports. Uh, Cause the stakes that it does come with, I went ahead and used them for this right here. As you can see, I put them on that to give that support because um, they're not good to me. They're not, they weren't good enough to hold, you know, to hold the side walls and stuff to give it support. So I've got this all the way open. Uh, this does have a zipper. So when you do get your product, you'll have four walls that comes, it comes with and one wall will have a zipper in the middle. Um, so if I was you, I would look for that zipper so you don't have to take take it down and redo it or whatever, or that way you don't have to have a friend help you turn this thing all the way around. That way you can just do it and be done right, right the very first time. Have it done the first time and be done. All right, so this is the inside. It is a 10 by 10 canopy. It is really nice. So let's go on in, I'll show you here. <clears throat> so these little black bags here are your weight bags. Um, they come empty. There's not anything in them. I fill them with rock, my like little uh, design creek rocks. I fill them with them um, to you know make it, the bottom be supported with weights. And so they already have rocks in them to hold it down. And you just uh, it has Velcro, so you just Velcro it. As you see here, you will Velcro it. To the side onto the bow and then this right here when you go to do that to set this all up you see this right here there is multiple settings and it goes up more i just have it on the third setting that's just the third one but when you first pull this out of the box it comes literally as just this white rod here without the roof now the roof comes, it, it comes in the box, but it, it comes like in its own little plastic wrapper, the roof does. So you have to put the roof on once you take this out of its uh, carrying case. Oh, and that's another thing. The carrying case this thing comes in is amazing. I truly like its carrying case. Uh, it even has wheels for you just to be able to roll it instead of having to carry it the whole time. It's really nice. Um, so as you can see here, I had to, you have to Velcro these. When you first put this on, you'll have to Velcro your corners. Now, make sure, just to give you some advice, make sure when you Velcro these corners, make sure this right here isn't like that on the other side over here. Make sure you have these two flaps here, like this, just like you see it. Because I did run into that problem uh, when I was doing the install on it. I had Velcroed this and uh, I had to end up redoing every bit of it because I had like this flap was all over here on this side and it was, yeah, it was pulling the stitching and it was not good. It was not good at all. So just to tell you that ahead of time, make sure you, you do your corners here right. And when I say Velcro it, you see this right here? This is what you'll be Velcroing it. You'll be Velcroing it to this. To the pole velcro right here 
be velcro on this to this but you want to make sure those corners as you see are all right because if you don't i'm telling you it will not be good you'll have a major major issue on your hands there if you don't do that right and you can even possibly rip the stitching um also like you see right here you see this little like flap here this uh extra padding that's amazing because a lot of them i ran it like a lot of the ones that my friends and stuff had did not have that and it would always end up rubbing through uh the wall here and tearing it up oh we got some water building up i see so after you velcro your corners you will make sure to velcro these right here onto your poles here and if i was you i would suggest making sure to get this to where it's like so your line stays even on the top make sure this line right here stays even on the top of this but as you see uh, you'll have that all the way around you'll have two of them as you see right there you'll have this one that one and then they just continue all the way around it's not really hard um, I will say it does take you having a help like a friend just one other person to help you to just get it like up because uh i tried to do it by myself and uh yeah it was uh, a little complicated on my own now uh tell you about this right here as you see these this corner these corners right here have like multiple one two and this so they have like two different three different hook locations so I ran mine like this. What I did was I, I tied to this one up here and then I ran the line through and then went up. I did this, I ran it through, went back up with the line and dropped the line back through again and then pulled it to where it kind of like did a wrap tie around it to where, you know, it's tied and like good and getting it that way. It's not just all on this one up here. You don't want all the, the pressure to be on that one. So that way there's pressure on this one and this hook that's why i ran it out at that angle and down because that way there's pressure being put onto your ring here instead of just just that up there but what i'm studying about this is only this side has those three like those three like hooking uh the hooking spots now if you go back and we go back to the back you'll see it does not have three it only has one see there is no other there is no other little two things here on this side nor is it on this side over here i'll show you which is right here as you see it is not here either it's just a little ring and that's it guys i mean i'm telling you to to be and oh and yeah uh, i got the orange because it was the only one they had at the time and i'm glad i did i really i thought it was going to be really awful and ugly but uh if you live in tennessee like i do yeah orange isn't too bad then because uh this is actually tennessee's color so orange is one of their colors and well one of our colors i should say and it's really nice i really do like it um i can't complain and right here, as you see, you got this little hooking, little last thing that you can open this up like that. I'm gonna go ahead and start closing it down and show you guys what it looks like after I close it. Ah! After I close it down. Sorry about that, my cat was trying to have fun and jump up here and attack it so that yeah you got cats you you don't want them there that's for sure because they can rip it and i do not want this ripped so i'm about to put him back inside let him out for a minute that's a mistake all righty so as you see here this is whenever it's whenever it's closed like that kind of like kind of closed now we're going to zip it up i'm also going to inside and show you to give you a 
a view of what it's like looking from this side when you're inside of it. And now we are going to zip it up. So. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple to zip it up. And it does, like I said, it does get pretty tight here at the bottom. So you kind of need two hands to make sure you, you don't tear it up. So let me open my tripod here and set you guys down for just a second. ladies when it is zipped up fully it's basically just like another solid wall and like i said i mean it is nice it is really nice uh it's been, it might have been hard like that too because where i put these weights on it uh when i added added these weights here i'm not gonna lie it's uh just put a little bit of weight on these walls uh it's the way i put them so but uh besides that you can see that it is fully enclosed and it is really nice it is really a nice canopy can't complain so now to taking down part <laughs> and putting it back up i hope this video helps you guys decide y'all have a good day thank you god bless bye